Welcome back. Now let's spice things up. El Tequileño's owner Rodrigo Sanchez is here to cook up something great. And I will say we did not even plan to be floral today, did we? It just happens. That's what's yeah. we're yeah, just on the call same. Me. I did not call you. Shoot. All right, that's okay. Let's go ahead and tell everyone where all your locations are. Okay, we have Barbara, 64 and Ward. Mm -hmm. We have Aurora Havana and Yale with the sport bar two next to the restaurant. Ah, uh, yes. We have Laywood two uh, on Kipling in Florida with the bar. Uh, sport bar store next to the restaurant and the new one in Colfax next to Camping World. All right. Now, some people a lot of times don't always think of sports bars with Mexican restaurants, but you have two and they are phenomenal. You have all basically the best sporting events always playing, don't you? Oh, well, yeah. We do have because we have the right TVs and the right portion of tequila and cervezas. Yes. <laughs> tequila and cervezas, which of course led me right to our next question, which is tequila. You brought in your favorite today. I don't think you've ever brought me your favorite tequila. I never bought this Herradura Suprema. It's no. one of the best tequilas we have. Yeah. So tell us about this. How much is this, would you say? Well, this bottle is about 450 $450. Yes. I mean, how many Mexican restaurants do you guys go to where you're going to have a $450 bottle of tequila that you can get right there? This is your favorite. You like this. and But you have a lot of other tequilas, too, if yes, people want. Yes. Part of what really makes El Tequileño great, in addition to this wonderful food, is your margarita. Do you have any insight on people, just to tell them how great it is? What, what is your secret to making your margarita? Our secret is not using sweet and sour and okay. not cheap tequila. So we use fresh lime and the right tequila. Ah, see, it's so simple. But yes, so simple, it, tastes, yes. it tastes so good, though. It tastes so good. All right, let's talk about what we have here today. I love going through every single thing that you've got here. First of all, can I just say before we get too ahead of ourselves, your cabbage, so good. I know it seems simple, but this little dish right here, do not pass it up when you go in there because it tastes so good. All right, what else? What are the big dishes we've got going? Well, you know, we start, we're going to start with the molly enchiladas. Mm. So that's one of the things we brought down oh, there. Right over there. Will's yes. got it. Yeah. So yeah, those molly enchiladas, it's kind of spicy. It's kind of chocolate. It's kind of sweet. I mean, it has all those flavors together that it'll transport you through Mexico. Oh, yeah. Michoacan. Yes. That's where you're from. Oh, yes. All this wonderful stuff from Mexico. Okay, what do we have up here? Well, the other ones, there are spinach enchiladas, a little bit more healthy, oh. and with the free cholesterol beans, too. Those oh. are so good, so tasty. Oh, well, you make such good stuff. Everything is so tasty and so good. Then we've got a couple of dishes up here. Are these more enchiladas? Yes, yes. Okay. The ones right here in the middle, they call enchiladas mi pueblo. Mm. So that means like my town, enchiladas. Mm -hmm. So pretty much this is the way exactly we do in Mexico, anywhere you want it. And people, they got the choice of what they want inside the enchiladas. Oh, so you can just choose if you want chicken or Yes, something exactly. Else. And, and the main things makes different with this because it comes with the sour cream and with the fresh cheese. Oof, it looks so good. Yes. Again, I always say smell a vision If we had it, we need it for your segments. Okay, then we've got these other two dishes right here. Yes, what we've well, got and here? we don't have here the enchiladas uh, chipotle. Mm. And you know, everybody knows about chipotle flavors, yeah, chipotle taste. Yeah, smoky so flavor. It is, bit. yes. Yeah. And this, and like I said, one of the things I'm going to mention, all those enchiladas is our own recipe. It's not something we buy already made. So we made everything from zero. Well, that is true. I can I can attest to that. Everything in your kitchen is, is amazing. You make it from scratch. It tastes so fresh. And you know the difference when you walk into a restaurant and you can taste, taste fresh ingredients. Nothing is prepackaged. What yes, do we have is. over here? And the, the last one's here, you know, like Morelia. So mm -hmm. Morelia is the capital of Michoacan, but I'm from. That's okay. why we call those Morelia because it's something oh. big. So the taste of the salsa on this is kind of creamy. It's so good. Mm -hmm. So we call enchiladas Morelia. So those are one of the most popular enchiladas too. So, so all these dishes are really your most popular dishes at the restaurant, would you say? Yes, it is. Okay, now let's not forget the mountains and mountains of guacamole. I, at first, right before we came on the air, he moved this guacamole over there, and I thought he was just trying to keep it away from me. <laughs> but then you reminded me, no, Gina, we've got one right up here, too. I will tell you guys all of this as soon as we get off the air. This food and that guacamole goes first. Everyone in the building comes down and eats all this stuff. This is so, and again, fresh ingredients, fresh avocados. You make that daily. Yes, and you know one of the main things is the avocados came from Michoacan. Oh. That's why I don't make it so tasty with us. <laughs> of course. Your hometown, your home area of, exactly. of Mexico, yes. Michoacan, where you have all of this. Of course, now, now I've asked you before, I think. Uh, we all know that these are the popular dishes for the restaurant. Do you have your favorite? Of, on here? Well, on this one, yes, yes. Yes. I really do like enchiladas mi pueblo. Oh, mi pueblo. Yes. Yeah. Because those transferred to me right away from since I was little getting those enchiladas all the time. You're little. I, I love it. I grew up it. with those enchiladas. Did you really? Yes. Oh, yes. well, then you have to get them. Okay. Thank you so much. El Tequileño is in Aurora, Arvada, Lakewood, and Golden. Sports bars are in Aurora and Lakewood. Got to go to those. 
um, locations as well. Happy hour Monday through Friday, 2 to 5 p.m. Go ahead and visit elticulanomexrest.com. They paid for today's segment. And guess what, folks? We're going to go ahead and eat. We're going to let you go. Have a great day. We'll see you again tomorrow.